What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon White 2 Extreme Randomized Nuzlocke. In the previous episode, we took on the 5th gym and beat Clay. Uh, not necessarily easily. Um, he did give us a little bit of trouble, but we did make it out alive. And uh, as you can see, we have a couple of new additions to our team because we're starting to get to that point where we really don't have uh, much to work with. Um, you can probably tell by the layout, uh, considering there's two different Musharnas um, <laughs> on the layout. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, but I did get the team grinded up to level 40 since that was the previous gym's ace. And the nice thing is soon, maybe even in this video, in fact, if I uh, run through the Pokemon World Tournament in you know a good timely fashion, I uh, should be receiving Surf. And if I receive Surf, then I can actually go back and explore a bunch of different areas. Uh, potentially get encounters. I'm not quite sure if there's any encounters I can get now that I'll have Surf, but who knows? Not me. Let's do a quick team recap. We got Royale, Arnito King at level 40, holding the King's Rock, which is only fitting. Flying a fighting type with Mud Bomb, Leaf Storm, Horn Leech, and Acid Spray. Multi type is the ability. We got Raiden. Excuse me. We got Raiden. Our electric and flying uh, Gallade here at level 40 with Overcoat, uh, with Drop Pack, Night Slash, Sacred Sword, and Feather Dance. We got Reverie, our Musharna at level 40, holding the Rocky Helmet uh, with Aerial Ace, Lick, Shadow Ball, and Mud Bomb. Then we have our other. Musharna here at level uh, 42. Uh, same ability, same move set, except this one's a modest nature, whereas the other one we've had for a while is a serious nature. It does matter a little bit because you can see the special attack stat is a lot higher with this one, so it could make a difference, but I do still have just, you know, two of the same Pokemon on the same team. We got Mrs. Puff, our Quillfish at level 40, the Steel and Psychic type with Sunny Day, Fury Swipes, Conversion 2, and Ring Out with the Anger Point ability. And then last but not least, we do have Maria, our Rock, and Ground type, Magmortar at level 40, uh, has the Stall ability, which is not great, but it does have Scald, Ancient Power, Meteor Mash, and Strength. Um, I figured let's use this thing um, because it's still a Magmortar. Yes, does it have a crappy nature? Uh, no, it actually doesn't. Uh, does it have a crappy ability? Yes. Does it have a crappy typing? Yes. Um, but like I said, I really don't have room to complain about it because I really don't have much to work with. But luckily, uh, for the most part, Today's episode should not involve too much. Um, it shouldn't involve too many uh, scary situations because we're just going to be doing the Pokemon World Tournament and I don't think these levels get scaled uh, even with the level booster. I think it will be the stuff afterwards that will be probably a little bit nerve-wracking. So, there's that. I still think this was probably the coolest... ...battle mechanic. Like, battle tower and stuff like that aside, I think this was probably the coolest thing they... They did. Alright, so Drift Veil Tournament. Um, I'm gonna lead with Raiden, and I'm gonna bring Reverie and Royale. Bells will be our three. Uh, 
And so it should just be three Pokemon each. Uh, I think if the levels don't scale, everything we fight should be like level 25. But our levels will stay what they were because this is kind of one of those things where we have to win. It's one of those storyline events that you kind of have to win, so. Oh, he has teams. Of, he has a team of six still. Interesting. Okay. So I'm glad I have a team of three in here. I've had a bunch of level 25s. A roar of time in Quagsire. Okay, that's... That's a little... much. What typing? Could he, could he have been dark? He could have been dark. That's why he more than likely, um... Resisted. A D dancing rufflet. Okay, get out. Maldo. Smackdown. That's gonna hurt, but. Oh, of course he's a ghost type. He just happens to be a ghost type. Also, um. Just kind of like an FYI, since. Um. Oh, I forgot I have Overcoat, but I should probably switch. Anyways, um, since I kind of have to win these tournament battles, I'm not counting anything that dies in here as death, if you really think that that's a, a cheap thing, then sorry, but I just don't see how it makes sense for me to count these as Nuzlocke deaths, since it's like... a side event, so I'm not counting it as such. But I, I still do not like that I have to go through three teams at six, so that's why I'm speeding it up here. Okay. I think he has one more. My low deck. Okay. The shift gearing my low deck, huh? Wait, does it have contrary? It has contrary. Because shift gear lowered its stats. I heard the, like, lowering sound effect. I wasn't paying attention entirely. That's crazy. I was gonna say, did their names for the tournament get randomized? The NPCs? I don't know. Interesting. But yeah, I still think this was the coolest thing that they added for any of the, like, battling post-game things. Well, 100% want this back. But he has a team of three? What? That doesn't seem pretty. That doesn't seem balanced at all. Oh, good one. So, another ghost tape. Rough skin, fine. And Kadabra. All 
All right, there we go. That was that one down. And we got us versus Colbris. Sounds like they're saying Jerry, like Jerry Springer. Like what? Is he gonna have a team of six or is he gonna have a team of three? Okay, he has a team of three. Why did why did our rival have a team of six though? That's what I wanna know. Alright. Another Quagsire. Um and a victory bell. Why is it running super slow? We got one BP. I wonder if there's anything good in these, uh, like, marts. I don't know if these get randomized or not. I don't know if these are randomized or not. I mean, the moves are definitely randomized, yeah. What about over this way? Are these also moves? Or are these items? These didn't get randomized. Yeah, these definitely didn't get randomized. Which is fine. Not everything has to be randomized, I understand that. Come on, let's let's just speed up through this because this let's just get it going. I know there's an item over here. Please be something good. The exact opposite of what I asked. Um, trying to think of who I want to lead with going into this. To be honest, I kind of want to go with our Musharna that's been with us the entire time. So, let's do that. I swear that I'm not going to make an ASMR video. I'm not going to crinkle up a bag. I'm just enjoying my lifesaver gummies that I got for Christmas. Oh, sweet. I can't hear the game audio anymore. I can't hear the game audio at all. That's cool. It's still recording. I can hear that. Or I can see that. But... As for sound, it's not picking it up. You know what I'm gonna do actually? I'm gonna pause this for a second. I'm gonna save state here. I'm gonna reset the ROM and see if that fixes everything. 
So we reset it. No, that doesn't change anything actually. Why did it just stop? Why did it just stop loading sound? I really hope that the sound is actually playing because it's picking up audio on OBS. So I'm gonna assume that it has sound playing for you guys. If not, then I'm gonna be very upset. So sock, leaf blade. I'm gonna assume he's a grass type then. I hope he copycats my bomb, yeah. Good one, dummy. We got crit too, tough. Tough, tough, tough. A Raichu, um... Got Airlock. I don't think that's gonna be a problem for us. I'm gonna Shadow Ball. And you're in a sand attack. You're... You're so... You're something else. And I'm... I missed instantly. Good one. I missed again. He sand attacked me once, by the way. Just, you know, trying to point that out. My accuracy didn't drop that much with one sand attack. I'm surprised, well, I was gonna say I'm surprised that that didn't one shot, but it wasn't super effective, so. And Raichu doesn't have good physical defense. He has, I mean, I don't think he has good defense in either stat, but it's not like, his physical defense is far worse. That's what I know. All right, so heal up Reverie here. Um, we gotta help. I think we gotta help you first, right? No, I'm wrong. I gotta help Sharon first. Okay, so what do you got for us, Team Plasma Grunts? Dudley and Mallory, Caesar and Zebstrika. He's got a Chandelure. But isn't Chandelure, like, not good for us? Because he's, like, a fighting type or something in this game? Through the Zeep Striker into Gallade. We know Gallade is electric and flying. Uh, we also know that Gallade shouldn't have um, any electric type moves at this level. So we should be okay. Oh, I'm glad to see that you going for a psychic type move. Uh, doesn't mean you're psychic type. Zap cannon, give me that. Iron head. I can eat that somewhat well. Oh, I missed mud mud bomb. Love that. See, and also, it looks like Caesar is still a steel type by the looks of it. So you can catch that mud bomb. That's probably gonna knock you out. Doki, Winsicott. Um, Shadow Ball, because it's stab. Can you stop quick guarding and go for a different move? Never mind, you're dead. It's probably stab if I had imagined. Oh, it's not stab. I lied. Also, I forgot Gallade could learn Zap Cannon at this level. I just didn't teach him Zap Cannon because Zap Cannon is not a good move for him. So, he does have an electric type move, but it doesn't really matter because we have Bolt Absorb. So, I don't need to worry about him at all, really. I can just 
go ham. All right, there goes the chandelure. Which really wasn't being much of a help to us other than just kind of like taking hits. So I don't mind it being gone if that's the case. Oh, 42 already. Dang, Rivery. Popping off. All right, Zangoose. Leap Striker comes out. Um, I'm assuming if they swap the Zeep Strike out, that this thing's probably a normal type, or it doesn't have any attacking moves. Or a ground type. That works too. Oh, he healed me! Nice, dude. Nice. Probably going for Dig on the Zangoose, if I'd imagine, because he's probably an electric type. Yep. Oh, he's got Grass Whistle now. Are you a normal ground type? No, just... Ground? That did a lot of damage. Do you have an attacking move, Zangoose? Oh, Roar of Time. <laughs> nice. Nice, uh... Nice job there. I can't be tweaking. Where... There's just no volume. I, I guess not. I literally hear nothing on my end, so it feels kind of odd, because I don't want it to be like, all you hear is me and I'm just playing the game, and there's just... Like background noise. I don't know. Alright, so let's help you out. Why are these guys in like slow motion? Swine up and Dino. Okay. Um, I feel like Dino's more of a threat to us. I don't know. Oh, Roar Time and Quagsire again. Is that gonna kill? He was super effective, so he was still a Dragon type, which is interesting. I guess to be fair, we did get a Venomoth that was randomized to still being a Bug type. It just didn't have its Poison typing. Alright, Quagsire and Meloetta. Quagsire? Why did I say Quagsire? I meant to say Licky Licky. But she just impostered into our Sharna, which is actually probably the scariest thing on the field, I'd imagine. Also, Quagsire is with the ground as well. Interesting. Shadow Ball does one shot because we got a crit. And then Dragon Pulse on to me. That's not going to do too much because Quag Quagsire. I don't know why I'm saying Quagsire. Licky Licky doesn't have a good special attack set. Or at least I don't think he has a good special attack set. And I didn't do that much damage. I know Lucharn is rather bulky. Alright, so those are those two done. I still never feel like I understood why Zinzolin became the leader of the new Team Plasma. I, it, I don't know if it was ever cleared up to me. Alright, 
So I'm gonna go ahead and actually do one kind of minute thing. I just wanna see if... Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, I think there's something in here. It's an oval stone. All right, that wasn't, that wasn't anything worthwhile. All right, I'm gonna go back, heal up, and in the next episode, we will continue our way through route six, I believe it is. Go through route six and uh, start making our way through the charged stone cave. Um, I'm gonna try and reset my emulator and hope that Oh, I think I figured out why I'm not hearing anything. I had my stuff muted on my desktop, so I couldn't hear anything. Okay, so that doesn't mean I, I don't have to reset anything, which is nice. But uh, in the next episode, we will, I think we'll scoop up Surf, and then I want to make my way through most of, if not all, of Chargestone Cave. I know that the big reach and i think potentially the next video is probably going to be a bit of a longer one because i do want to make sure i scoop up all of the encounters i can get potentially uh before i face elisa so um that's going to probably include grinding as well so i'll do my best to do all that stuff off screen uh before not this next episode but the episode after the next one so just stay tuned just pay attention for, to that because there will be uh probably some radical changes to the team if i were to imagine but i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here if you guys did enjoy make sure you hit that like button down below because we greatly appreciate it uh if you want to make sure you see all the rest of the episodes in this series make sure you are subscribed to the channel click the bell icon as well if you want to check out more content involving me, uh, go ahead and follow my Twitter and TikTok, both of which are linked in the description below. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Have yourselves a great day and peace.